Welcome to my studio. This time we're going to paint a little snow scene and you're going to paint it with me. But before we do, let's talk about the materials we're going to need to paint the picture. Well, we have lemon yellow, we have light red, we've alizarin crimson, we've cobalt blue, we've, we've raw sienna, we have burnt umber and we have Payne's grey and we have our little tube of white gouache. So without further ado, let's have some more fun. Horizon, sky, middle and foreground. So we take our ruler and our pencil and we're off. Now we draw the horizon line. It's about a third of the way up from the bottom of the page, right across like that. And then just finish it over like that. That's our horizon. Now that's the end of the drawing. We can put our pencil and our, our ruler away and get on with the, the main business of painting. So before we start, let's clear the decks here. We'll put the two brushes in there, those two, the big goat hair and the small goat hair. And we have the rigger. And of course we have our piece of paper which measures 14 by 10. And it's watercolor paper, 300 gram. And we're painting landscape. Right, so we know all that. Now we have our tray and our water. We will think, well, let's put out some paint. And starting off, we're going to put out some blue. And then we're going to put out some raw sienna. And where's our raw sienna gone? There it is. I have it here. I knew it was there somewhere. And then we're going to also put out some alizarin crimson. So we're going to make a nice crimson sky out of this thing. And we get our big brush out. And um, we first of all, we're going to dampen the paper down as far as about the horizon line. So starting from the top, let's give it a good swish here. There we go. See that all soaks in nicely. Nice and wet. Then we're going to take some of the blue and some of the red. And this is going to make us a lovely whiny color, yes. But this time it's going to be a a really nice warm white. We take some of the light red, or sorry, the raw sienna. What am I talking about light red? Just a little bit, just to mix it in there with some of the blue. Till eventually, we keep working out till we get what we want. Now, that's getting better now. It was a little bit funny looking there a minute ago, wasn't it? Start from the top. Working down, there you go, look, a nice, beautiful, nice purpley colour. Don't forget, it looks very strong, we put it on first, but of course it isn't because as it dries, it will lighten. I think that's about all we want now. One more time. Now, there we go. Now, we're going to let it dry a little bit. As it's drying, I'm going to make up the colour for the background trees. They're way back in the distance there. We're going to make up some nice, same colour. And you'll see what will happen. As I put them in, they should, it should soak into the paper. You see that? And give me the impression that the trees are, see there's no mountains, just, just up you go. It is a nice background. They're way back in miles and miles away. Back a little forest of trees. Right down to there. And let it all soak in. And you can see now the trees are way back. Now, 